<clears throat> All right. The festive getaway awaits and <clears throat> I'm gonna make, wait for a few people to come in before we get started. How's everyone's Thursday going? Almost the end of the week. It's almost Friday or Friday, whatever y'all want to call it. Uh, hope everybody had a good week. Um, my week was okay. It's really, really busy this week. Really busy this week. I had a lot of digitizing to do this week. It was, it was crazy this week. That's all I can say. <clears throat> Just gonna wait for some people to come on in. Wait for some people to come on through. I'm going to wait about 10 more seconds, and then I'm going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> A few more seconds, then I'm going to go ahead and get started with this live. This live is going to be for beginner digitizers, all right? People who have hats. Don't, it don't really matter what program you have. You may can follow along with me just to get a... Uh, a grasp on what to do in certain situations, no matter what program you're on. But if you have hats, this is gonna be, you know, something you can learn with hats. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Make sure when you come in, man, if you're learning anything, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, turn on your post notification bell. Oh, oh, let me tell y'all, just in case a couple of people don't know, I did reach 4,000 watch hours. My YouTube channel is now monetized. Let's give it big ups to your boy, man. Yes. I am now monetized. It's been a grindy, grindy road to get monetized. I'm just letting y'all know. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you have hats, uh, if you want to learn how to use hats or you just don't know where to start, this video should kind of help you out. Um, <clears throat> let me turn this down. This video should kind of help you out uh, with digitizing. So, I mean, I'm talking about simple digitizing. As you see the design right here, we have a Easter bunny kind of unicorn type design. So it's super simple. Nothing hard to do. Um, you can actually auto digitize this design. It may come out perfect, but I'm going to show you how to manually digitize this design so you can, uh, uh, you know, learn what the tools do. All right. Of course, one of the first things I do uh, when I start digitizing, I want my colors of the design to show up down here at the bottom right here these are your thread colors down here at the bottom so you don't necessarily have to come over here and click threads unless you're just trying to add a color or something like that a specific color but all these colors are down here are your thread colors now in order to get the colors of the design down here at the bottom you have to go to the auto digitizer tool Okay, what you want to do is auto digitize embroidery. Okay, hit that button. It's going to auto digitize the design. But what's going to happen is it's going to put the colors right here of the design down here at the bottom. All right, so you don't have to go looking for them and stuff like that. All right, so we're going to hit okay. <clears throat> and we don't really want to worry about this because we're not auto digitizing. We're going to manually digitize this design. 
and you're just going to hit OK again. All right. So now your colors are down at the bottom right here with the black boxes around them. Y'all see them at the bottom. All these other colors we do not want down there. We only want the colors of the design down here at the bottom. So if you want to remove these colors, you go to Discord. All right. Discord, all the rest of those colors disappear. So now we're only left with the colors of the design. Let me put my glasses on. I'm blind. I'm trying to be young. But I'm still young, but I'm just blind. All right. So um, we have all our colors for our design. Also, our design is auto digitized, but we're not going to auto digitize it. So what we're going to do now is delete all of that. And it's going to bring us back to how we want our design to be. Now, this is a simple design. It's not super hard. Um, usually what I do, I look at my design and I see what colors I'm going to do first. I see what colors are kind of sitting behind. Because when you're, you're digitizing, uh, you want to look at this like layers. So what's behind, what color is behind another color and what color is uh, in front of it? So basically, the color that we're going to start off with is the pink ears, okay? Because the pink ears are behind this carrot. I mean, you know, this carrot, the carrot leaf, all right? So first two. And let me go over these tools right quick. The main tools that you are going to use are the digitized open shape. Digitized open shape is how you create single runs, triple runs, sculpture runs, backstitch, stem stitch, zigzag, satin, gray satin. I've used all of these tools. Don't let someone tell you, hey, you're not going to never use any of this. Yes, you will. Once you become very creative with your digitizing, you are going to use these tools because you're going to want to do something different. Okay. Um, the other tool, the tool you're going to use the most is the digitized closed shape tool. You're going to use the tatami, the satin. Sometimes you may use the raised satin if you don't have, uh, I usually use this if I don't have uh, no foam for puff embroidery. That's what raised satin is. It gives you that that puff embroidery look without the, the phone, okay? Um, motif, I've used this. I have a hat that I did motif uh, background on. So don't ever say you're not going to use any of these tools. You're going to use them once you learn the program and become very creative, okay? You have your different patterns down here, uh, which are tatami patterns, okay? Um, let me make a quick circle and show you what those do. All right, so this is a tatami stitch. And this is a circle. Right here is where you can change the pattern of that circle and make it look a little bit different, okay? You can click number two, three, let's open all of them. And you can create a different type of tatami stitch that gives you that kind of pattern it's it, all it is is different patterns of tatami okay so when you are ready to be more creative with your digitizing you're going to come down here and use these tools most people are going to say just only use number one you use what you want to use okay Get in here and experiment with different things, all right? But you can only use these patterns down here with tatami, okay? And it's going to give you different tatami looks depending on what you want it to look like, all right? So you have a, a whole bunch of them down here. And I I use this one a lot too, number 27, all right? So... Get in here, experiment with it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and delete that shape. We're gonna get hit. We're gonna go ahead and get started with. Oh, one more tool. Sorry, y'all. Digitize blocks. Now, this is a tool that people stay away from, and I'm gonna show you how to use it today. Okay, digitize blocks. For some reason, people hate it. 
and it's hard to grasp. It's really not. It's all you're really doing is going across from each other like this. And I only use this tool to make outlines, really. Or I use it on something like this. That's how that tool works, like that. But I'm going to show you how to use that tool also. All right? So a lot of people stay away from the digitized block tool. It's not hard to use. You just have to know when to use it and practice on using it. All right? So we're going to go ahead and get started. Our first color is going to be the pink. Bunny ears. So this is a bunny unicorn, I guess. Uh, you know, Easter's right around the corner. So this design will be on my Etsy uh, and my Etsy store. If you want to purchase it after we digitize it, uh, look for it later on today. All right. So we're going to pick digitize close shape. We're going to make sure we have our color selected. How you know your color is selected, you're going to have a black box around that color. That's how you know you're on the color that you want to be on. Um, let's check the size of this. Seven inches in height. I try to digitize it small first. So let's make it, let's just make it five. Let's make it five inches, all right? And then we're going to start right here at the bottom. With our first shape now i see a lot of people trying to digitize like this uh digitize fall out you want to you want to zoom in a little bit usually a six to one ratio uh, uh i think it's a three or uh, six to one ratio so you want to be right here when you're digitizing uh just a little bit closer so you can see those lines all right if you have to get a little closer you can get in but this right here won't really show when when it stitches out okay so i'm gonna start right here we pick digitize close shape and we're gonna start here so uh left click is for straight lines right click when you're making the curve okay and you're gonna i'm gonna show you the nodes after we finish this straight curve straight Let me move this camera out of the way sorry we're gonna go straight curve straight straight curve straight straight curve straight that's all this is is a series of curves and straights you just gotta know when to use them then we're going to come up here then we're going to come to about halfway now a lot of another thing i see people do is they go all the way down to the bottom till you get to that note you don't have to do that once you get halfway or close to the beginning you stop right there you press the enter button it's going to connect it for you then you press it again now you have your tatami stitch okay so you don't have to go all the way to the beginning of the node. Once you get close to the, the beginning of it, hit the enter button. It's going to attach it for you. Hit it again. Then it's going to connect it for you, okay? So um, when I'm digitizing, I operate in uh, true view. So to get to the true view, you want to press T. All right? So we are in true view. Another thing that I do is you can't see your artwork and you can't see the stitches, right? Reason for that is we have to dim the artwork, okay? I see a lot of people just uh, try to hide the, the shape. You don't have to hide the shape. Just dim the artwork and you'll be able to see right through it, all right? So you're gonna, to do that, you're going to go to show. Right here is show design. And you're gonna dim your artwork and it's gonna dim that artwork for you so now you can see through the stitches all right see your artwork this circle right here is your start position always remember that this circle is the start position that's where it's gonna start stitching out at this right here should be a rec i mean a triangle but if it doesn't, if it's not a triangle, it's going to look like a square, okay? 
it's going to be where the stitching ends at for this object, all right? All these little white dots that you see is every time the needle penetrates the fabric, okay? That's what these white dots are. Every time the needle penetrates the fabric, that's where the white dots, that's, that's what the white dots are for. That's what they're showing you. Now, I want to show y'all this, but I don't want it. I don't want y'all to be like too, too afraid to do it. Okay. Now to digitize with a little bit of efficiency, cause let's say we digitize this part right here. This is a shape, right? Most people, they start digitizing the next shape, which is right here. Now for people with a single needle machine, if you have a single needle machine, you're going to create a jump stitch from here to there. All right. You're going to create a jump stitch from here to here. We don't want jump stitches. All right. We don't, we, we try to eliminate that as much as possible, or at least I do when I'm digitizing and selling designs. I, I do think about the people with single needle machines the most because they're going to have to cut those jump stitches at the very end. And I want you guys to avoid that. I want you to have as less jumping and trimming as possible. So what I do is I go to my digitized open shape, make sure it's on single run. And I run a single run stitch from that object to where I'm going to start my next object, which is going to be here. Okay. All right, so now you see that that square has moved to here, which is now a triangle. So circle is where the design is going to start stitching. The triangle is where the design is going to stop stitching. So instead of you having a jump stitch, you're going to have a run stitch going to the next object. All right. Now you're going to ask yourself, well, it's running over that green when you come down here and digitize this green it's going to cover up that run stitch you won't even know it's there okay it's going to cover that up all right so now we're going to go start digitizing the next part of our design and we're going to use the digitize digitize close shape and we're going to start where the triangle is at are close to it, okay? Zoom in, start where that triangle is at, and we're gonna start digitizing. And you don't have to be perfect on the line all the time. You can try to be as perfect as you can, but with stitching, it's, it's gonna going to kind of spread a little bit, all right? So we're going to follow this line all the way up. And I'm doing right clicks and left clicks. When you're in the curve, you do a right click. And going straight, you do a left click. Now, some people will see something like this and say, oh, I got to go down here no don't worry about that we're gonna we're not gonna do that because the embroidery machine is not gonna catch that little tiny detail all right so we're gonna keep going this way get here and i'm not gonna do that either just make a straight line all right your embroidery machine is not gonna catch that little detail so i can zoom out a little bit also to zoom in and out, if you have a uh, a mouse with a wheel on it, this is how I zoom in and this is how I zoom out with my wheel, right? Wherever you see that mouse triangle, it's where it's going to zoom in at. So, and when I zoom out, it's going to zoom out, but stay in that spot. So, if I want to zoom in on a certain spot, I make sure that mouse triangle is where I want to zoom in at. And I zoom in like that, okay? 
it should work like that on your mouse if you have this wheel on it, all right? So I'm going to zoom into the area I want to zoom into and keep moving. Don't try to get none of those jagged edges. Your machine is not going to stitch that out like that. So we're going to do a series of straights and curves. All right. Here, let's get that. And then we got to go back up and come back around. You have any questions about anything I'm doing? Don't hesitate to put it in the chat. I am reading the chat and I will answer your questions if you get a little lost. All right. So now, remember what I said, you don't have to come right down here and click it, right? You don't want to do that. We, we close enough to it to where Hatch is going to know, okay, that's the end down there. I'm going to press enter. It's going to put that line down there for you. Then you press enter again. Now we want to see what our stitches look like. That's how our stitches look. All right, we have digitized the first ear. Okay, now I want to show you guys some shortcuts that you can do um, <clears throat> to make life easier for you. Okay, um, hopefully this is almost the same way. Let's look at it. Yeah, it's kind of almost the same. So now you can digitize this other ear or you can copy the first two objects and put them on this side and just flip it. All right, let me show y'all how to do that. So you're gonna come over here to your objects, the sequence panel. You're gonna click your object, press shift. You're gonna duplicate it by pressing control D. You're gonna duplicate that. You're gonna slide that over, right? You're gonna slide that over, then we're gonna flip it. You're gonna mirror it. Now. The same looks like it's the same on both sides. We're gonna set it there. So now we are finished with the ears. Okay, that's something you can do. You can do that if it's the same on both sides. All right. So, um, basically, that part is done. All right. If you want me to do it again, I'll do it again. So, you're gonna press. Your object, first object, hold shift, go down to the last part of the object. To duplicate this, you're going to press control D, okay? Or you can come up here and press duplicate up here, okay? Control D, move it over because it's already selected. Mirror, your mirror button is right here. Or you can press control 1 to mirror it, all right? Mirror it, set it in the spot. So you don't have to do that all over again. As long as it's the same way, okay? As long as it's the same way. All right, next. We're going to finish this part up, which is with the green leaves. We're going to finish that part up. So I'm going to go back to True View. That's True View. And we're going to start on the green. All right, so um, let's see how we're going to do this. I can do it in pieces or I can do it as one, but I'm thinking of doing it as one. I'm going to do it as one just for y'all. Um, doing it in pieces is going to be like a, a, like a little bit of an advanced move. So we're going to do it all in one just so y'all can get a grasp of how to digitize, okay? So we gonna go to digitize close shape. We're gonna go to our light green color down here. And then we're gonna start digitizing. We're gonna start right there. And we're gonna keep digitizing, we're gonna click. And you don't have to be super perfect. You don't have to be crazy perfect with it, all right? Getting perfect at it is just going to come with time. Sometimes, you know, 
I've been doing this for a long time, so I know how to hit it right on the edge, but if I'm going too fast, let me know in the comment section. All right, so I am hitting the curve. These are curves all right here. Straight, straight, curve, curve, straight. Um, so I don't like the way this look. So I'm gonna do my own thing right there and make it straight. Curve, straight. And you don't have to follow necessarily follow the, the artwork. If you see something in the artwork that doesn't look right, make something. Put something in there. I, and you know, make it make it yours. All right, we're doing a bunch of like this right here that looks terrible so i'm just gonna go straight and then curve it up here so that's not going to stitch out right on uh when you try to embroider it it's not going to stitch out right at all so we're just coming right along this line Let's see what that looks like i'm gonna make that straight down come up We're gonna come down here. We're gonna straighten that curve, 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 curve. Notice I'm not trying to get this super perfect. It doesn't have to be super perfect. But I know that those lines, when I do certain things, they're gonna take a certain shape. Make that straight, make that straight, and then we're gonna just go ahead and follow this like that. I encourage you guys when you get to a point to where you can't tell if it's a curve or a straight to zoom in. Okay, that's the best thing to do. Zoom in. If you can't tell, get in there like that. All right. <clears throat> So we are almost finished, right? We at the end. Enter, enter. All right. So we're gonna go to True View. That looks okay. Another thing you can do, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, we're gonna add some stitch angles. So if you wanna see your nodes and your stitch angles, go to True View, with uh, by pressing the H key, and uh, you want to press, I mean, go to true view by pressing the T key and press H to see all of your nodes. These are all of the nodes that I put in. The square is straight. The circle is a curve. Okay. Series of circles and curves. All right. Put as many as you need to put to make the shape that you want to make. All right. That's how that go. Now, do we want to digitize this all over again? I don't. So this is a, a, a thing that I can show you. You select it, control D to duplicate it. Let's move it over. Mirror it, because they're about the same thing. Put it right there. Fits right there, okay? All right, so now we're gonna go on to our We're gonna go out to let's do the the unicorn horn. Then we're gonna do the egg. Then we're gonna do the two uh the two carrots, and then we're going to do the uh black first. Reason why we are doing the black first, and I didn't do this first because this black part is under the heart shaped nose. All right, so let's do this, and we're gonna start up here. Um, let's use the digitize block tool. Okay, we're gonna use the digitize block tool. I wanna show y'all how to use that 
on these kind of shapes. You don't always have to use the digitized closed shape tool when you're digitizing. You can use the digitized block tool when you're doing uh, a tatami stitch. I mostly use it when I'm doing uh, borders or the sand stitch, but we're gonna get into this digitized block tool and we're gonna start right here at the top, all right? So we're gonna click our color. You know you're on your color when you have that black box around your color. So what you wanna do is you wanna click and you wanna go across. The same way the digitized uh, close shape tool works, the digitized block tool works the same way. Uh, you left click for straight, you right click for curve, okay? So we're just gonna make this a straight and then we're just gonna do all curves. straight so when you get here you see how it's different once it gets past here you want to make sure this is in this is going right across here all right the, the whole thing with digitized blocks you want to make sure it's kind of going across from each other all right so i'm gonna get right here before I, it starts to transition down and let me erase that you want to come here all right then you start transitioning down like that, okay? Basically, you want it to be on the same side, and then you press enter. Now you have the tatami shape, all right? I'm gonna show y'all again on this one. Same thing, all right? So I'm gonna start right here, right here in this corner. And I'm going to work, work my way down. If you mess up, just press the backspace key. I'm going to work my way down just like that. Enter. Now we have that shape. Looks just like the shape I just that was on there. Nothing changed. I think the tatami, the digitized block tool is a little bit quicker than the tatami uh, digitized closed shape tool. But you have to practice it. All right. Don't be afraid of it. I used to be afraid of it too. I ain't live a lot of y'all. <laughs> I used to avoid it myself. But I said, man, I gotta, I gotta get it. So. All right, looks perfect, right? So um, with this one right here, I am not gonna use the digitize close block tool cause it's kinda, I can use it, but it's kinda iffy. So we're gonna go to the digitize close shape tool and just do it the regular way. enter now we have that shape all right everybody getting it is everybody getting it i don't see any questions or anything in the live chat yet i don't see anything oh y'all my live chat was not working wow all right let me speak to everybody hey unbiased hey jesse gibson my live chat wasn't working y'all i'm looking like i don't see no questions <laughs> i don't see anything Wow. All right. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Time up. Let me let me let me get unbiased talking about some team brilliance. Team in brilliance. What you talking about? You yeah, see you over here watching a hatch and just the ties of the course right quick. Let me put you up on game right quick. Y'all, I'm so sorry my chat wasn't working. I don't know why. Hey Jesse, how you doing? Hey, I'm biased. Marissa. How you doing, Marissa? Um, who else is in here? Miss Karen G. Hi. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't see none of y'all. Um, Camille. Camille the Cancer. How you doing? Uh, Maisha Rala. How you doing? I'm biased. Don't make me come over there. 
and delete your program up off your computer. <laughs> Don't make me come over there and delete your program off your computer. I will come over there and delete it and install Hatch. <laughs> All right. Wow. I couldn't even see it. Wow. I could not see my chat. That's crazy. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I couldn't see it. <laughs> she said, I'm hot for it. I could not see the chat. The chat was not showing up. I'm like, hey, nobody ain't got no questions. I guess, I guess they got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. All right. Let's get back to the lesson. <laughs> let's get back to the lesson. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do the egg. Now you see the egg has a bunch of holes in it. Um, we're not going to worry about that, but I am going to show you how to digitize holes. Okay. All right. So we're going to go on to our next, uh, our next color. Now you can use the digitize blocks to create this egg and you can use the digitized closed shape tool to create this egg. Uh, I'm going to do both. I'm going to do the digitized block first just to show you how you can do it to create this edge. <clears throat> hey, don't be, don't be getting on hatch. Y'all know hatch is the standard. <laughs> All right. So, um, digitized block tool. All right, just gonna go right across from each other. Right across, it's gonna make that curve. And these are all curves that I'm making. And then I get down here and I do two straights. And now we have our egg, just like that, all right? Super easy once you learn how to use the tool. And that was with the digitized block tool, okay? So now I'm gonna show you, uh, if you look at the difference with the digitized block tool, um, the reason why I like to use it is because it puts the angles for you when you uh, use the digitized block tool. And let me show you that right quick. Let's go to true view and you see these are your angle points. Okay. It puts the angle points for you when you use the digitized block tool. Uh, when you use the digitized closed shape tool, it's going to give you one angle. You can create all different kinds of angles, but let me show you that right quick. I can't believe I couldn't see the chat. That's crazy. Y'all was. Don't do it. Get it. Get it. All right. So, um, digitized closed shape tool. I'm going to show you how to use the digitized closed shape tool. I'm going to start with a, uh, straight curve, 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 curve. This is all curves. All right all curves and you want to spread them out a little bit once you get up to the top you press enter and it finishes it for you now the difference between like i said the difference between the digitized blocks and the digitized closed shape if i press the h key you're going to see one angle point and i can move that angle point i can make it look any kind of way i want okay all right so You can change the angle points with the digitized closed shape. The digitized block is going to put those angles for you. All right. Now, to make those holes right there, you want to go to the digitized holes tool. Okay. There's a digitized holes tool right here. So, what you want to do is, it's just like the digitized closed shape tool, but you're just making a hole with it. So, I'm going to start here and make sure I'm selected there. Start there. Curve, 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 enter. Press enter twice. Now you have a hole in your egg, okay? 
Now, what I would what I would do is I wouldn't put a hole there. I would probably put a color there. I wouldn't put a hole there. It's up to you and how you want to be creative with it. But I will probably take the circle tool. And put, you know, some uh, complementary colors on the egg. Okay, that's what I would do. All right, so let me show y'all how to use the digitize. Uh, are you offering Zoom class for Hatch? I will be offering Zoom classes for Hatch real soon. Um, and I might try to put it in the price of uh, what they call it. Uh, like the little package you get once you get monetized and stuff. You know, I might put it in the price of that. Give a free class to a to a, maybe one or two free classes every month. Okay, so if you get the like the subscription, I'm gonna try to include that. All right, so um, I haven't. I'm working on a subscription. I'm working on some goodies to give y'all, especially like I'm gonna have like maybe one or two tiers of a, of the subscription. Uh, one is gonna be you know a little bit pricey, but you're gonna get some free stuff you can, and stuff like that and. The other one, you're going to get special shout outs and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that. Um, so let me show you all how to use this digitized host tool one more time. So you want to make your hole. You're going to curve, 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 enter twice. Wait, I didn't press it. Hold up. Now come, make sure you select the shape that you want to uh, digitize your holes with. Okay. Curve, 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 enter twice. And now you have a hole in the egg, okay? All right, so I'm probably going to do something different with that. <clears throat> yeah, membership. Yes, I'm biased. So I'm going to include hatch classes and my membership and some free goodies. So be on the lookout uh, once I start that up. Um, so let's get to doing the carrots with the uh, close shape tool. So digitize close shape, select our color right here, which is orange. And you can pretty much start wherever you want to start. It's up to you. I'm going to start right here. Curve, curve, straight, straight, straight. Straight, straight, straight. Don't make the 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 uh the shape more complicated than you know than what it what it has to be. All right. Straight. All these are gonna be straight. They're all sharp. I'm here straight. Curve, enter twice. Now we have our carrot. Do we want to? Do we want? Don't digitize the carrot unless you absolutely have to. If it's completely different on this side, go ahead and digitize it again. If it's the same, go ahead and duplicate it. Move it over this way. Mirror it, and now you are done with the other side. Okay. All right. So I'm going to teach y'all a little bit of an advanced part. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you the difference between doing it with this, the digitized close shape by itself and using this advanced. Uh, it's not super advanced, but um, you're going to see the difference in doing it this way, how much cleaner it's going to look if you do it this way versus the other way. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do the eyelashes, okay? So I'm just going to use the digitized close shape, and I'm just going to come right here, and I'm just going to do my thing and trace it, okay? And I'm going to show you how it's going to look after you finish with it. All right, and I'm going fast because 
I know this can be boring sometimes, but y'all know how y'all should know how to use the digitized clothes shape by now. Now you see all these little jagged edges. Don't try to follow them. Make them neater. All right. Make it look better than than that. You don't want to have all those crazy edges when you're digitizing. So I'm gonna make the eyebrow eyelashes look a little bit cleaner than what they look. And you don't, you know, you don't have to follow the artwork exact. Make it, make it look, make it, this is art. So nobody's going to see when you, if you're selling digitized designs, nobody's going to see the actual artwork anyway. Nobody's going to know that that didn't look good. All right, so back at the beginning, and I'm going to press enter. Now, if you see this eyelash, to me, you see this eyelash, to me, that's not going to look good when it's stitched out. And usually I do the eyelashes in a satin stitch. So if I turn it to a satin stitch, it's not going to look that great. All right. Um, because you have a lot of, uh, the reason why it's not going to look that great is because you have a lot of angles going on. It's, 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 it only can make one angle, right? So let's hit the H key and you see this angle right here. Everything is being stitched at this 15 degree angle. If I change the angle to a zero, it's still not going to look that great everywhere. As you can see, these look kind of good, but this part right here doesn't look good, okay? This area right here don't look good. I don't like that, all right? So I'm going to show you the way that I usually do it so it can look really, really good. And that's using the digitized blocks, okay? So I'm going to start here, and this is a little bit of an advanced part, but I want y'all to at least see some advanced things so you can say, oh, okay, I can go practice that, all right? So start here. And I already have it set on satin, so I want all this to be satin. And I'm gonna come up to about right here. Enter. Let's go to True View. I know that this is gonna stop right here because what we got right here, we have a triangle. So what I'm gonna do is take my open shape, single run, and I'm gonna start down here. Run it down there. Enter. And start again. Now what, what's gonna happen is, even though I'm making more than one shape, when this stitches out, it's not going to stop because I added a run at the end of the first shape to go to the next shape. All right? Remember the the triangle was here. The triangle is down here now. So, we're going to do that all the way to all of the eyelashes and you're going to see how much better it's going to come out and how much better it's going to look. So, we're going to knock this out. No such thing as a boring lie. Some people say it's boring. I'm just saying what some people say. I didn't find it boring when I was trying to learn how to digitize because I was into it. So, yeah, you're right about that. If you want to learn it, it was, it's not going to be boring. So we're going to come down again.
and it doesn't have to be super clean, but I am going to make it super clean for when I post it on my Etsy site. And come down again. This is how I digitize a lot of my designs using that run stitch to connect other shapes so you don't create a whole bunch of trims, okay? This is what I mean when I think about the people with the single needle machine. Imagine having to cut every jump stitch that I created for these eyelashes. That was suck. I was one of those people. So I'm trying to do it. I'm going to try to do it quick, y'all. We got a lot of eyelashes on this one. Zoom in, zoom out. So let's press the true view. Now you see how much better these lashes look than these. All right. They all look the same. They all look uniform. All right. And it's going to, it's going to stitch out way neater. So that's why I tell you guys, go ahead, please practice using digitized block tool. If I'm going too fast, let me know. It may take a little longer to do it this way, but you're going to get much better results. When you see stuff like this, you buy a file and you see that it is stitching out nonstop, you know it hasn't been auto digitized. Auto digitize, the auto digitize feature will not do this. Sometimes it will, but it will not do this. Even though auto digitizing is not completely bad, but some things auto digitizing just don't do that you need to learn. All right, we're almost finished. We got a few more to do. Um, uh, uh, you make your own puff design and in brilliance. I have a design for that hat that I would like to make puff. Is that something I can send you? Is that for me? Um, I can make a puff design easily. Um, you can, I think you can make puff designs in and brilliance. You can make your own puff design in brilliance. There she go. <laughs> she fighting it. She fighting it. Go on, them buyers. Come, come to the hat side. Come on over to the Wilcom side and be happy. Come on. Come on over to the dark side. <laughs> come on over to the dark side. All right. It's fun over here. I'm gonna get you from over there. Even if it's just for a little bit, I'm gonna get you from over there just for a little bit. Yeah, auto digitizing can can show you a lot. With all digitizing, not only it's going to show you what you could do, but you're going to have to fix some stuff and, you know, you also learn. 
a lot from auto digitizing. All right, we're on the last eyelash part. All right. All right, so now once I finish that part, I'm gonna come here, start right there, and then we're gonna come back. All right, true view. Now, look at the difference of when you do it the way with the uh, digitized block tool and just doing it with the digitized closed shape tool. It looks totally different. It looks way cleaner. And this is the way I will digitize these uh, eyelashes. She has the program, Jamel, stop. Uh, in fact, I'll just I'll show you. Uh, So can y'all see the difference between the two eyelashes when you just digitize with the digitized close shape? This is the one I just digitized with the close shape. And this is the one I digitized in pieces. And you can see every object that belongs to this piece right here. So you're looking at about, these are all of the objects just for this one eyebrow, just for this one eyelash, I mean. These are all of the objects. So when you break this up, it looks cleaner. All right. It's going to stitch out better. It's going to, it's going to look way better than, than this over here. So this is why I do it this way. It may take a little longer, but it's going to look better. So fast don't always mean good. Sometimes it takes time. So, all right. So now let's go ahead and finish this up. Now what I can do, I can delete this one. And I can select all of this. So I don't have to do it all over again. Uh, duplicate. Move it over. Mirror. And now we got two eyelashes, two perfect eyelashes, okay? They're gonna come out perfect every time. All right, so now this part at the bottom, now, same here. You want to break this up into uh, pieces, okay? There should be three. Excuse me. There should be three pieces, and I'm going to show you why. This is tie close shape tool first. Enter. Now you see how that look? That looks don't look that great. But there's another way you can fix that if it works. It don't always work all of the time. You can add stitch angles, okay? You click on your design, you come over here to add stitch angles. You put one here, put one there, put one there. All right, that looks better, but you got this right here. You got this right here because what it wants to do, it wants to break this piece off. This piece right here don't need the, it, it should be three pieces, okay? So even though it made it look better, you have a little bit of a mistake right there. So let me show you the other way that I would do it. It's always a couple of ways you can do things. All right, we're going to go back to our digitized closed shape. And we're going to start here. I mean, block tool, digitized blocks. And we're going to start there. All right. I'm going to stop right here. All right, that looks great. We're going to come. Digitize open shape. We're gonna go to our true view. You see this triangle? We're gonna make a run stitch from here 
to up here because we want to start on this side and we want to end on this side right here. Run stitch to here. Digitize closed blocks. We're going to come just like that. We're going to stop. We're going to come all the way down. We're going to stop out right here. All right. Now, you see the, the triangle is here now. So now we're going to start right here at this triangle again and finish it up. Now when I go to true view, now look at it. All right, so that's how it's gonna look when you digitize it that way, uh, instead of just using a digitized close shape and then adding uh, stitch angles. If you do it this way, break it up into three pieces, it's gonna stitch out and look much better than the other way, okay? All right, so now we only have these right here and you can come up here and use a shape to do these just put it right there enter twice i'll make them a little bit bigger enter twice enter twice enter twice all right Cause it's just circle shapes, nothing major. But if you want to know how to digitize them, digitize block tool, curve, curve. Wait, hold up. It's not something weird. Okay, curve, curve. Wait, I'm screwing that up. Straight, straight, curve, curve, curve curve same same thing if you use the digitized close shape tool curve 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 enter twice all right so let's make these last couple of shapes and then we are going to be finished uh let's use the digitized block tool so we're going to start from the side because we're making the oval All right, so I'm going to leave that as a satin stitch. And then what I'm going to do is uh, duplicate it. Put it over there. Looks the same. And now we're going to create this heart nose. You can either digitize this heart nose or you can come to standard shapes. Find you a heart shape. They have two in here. We're going to use that heart shape right there. We're just going to make a heart. Because that's all it is, is a, a heart. And uh, we're going to put it on top. See? The timing. All right. So that's the design. You press your player. You see how it's going to stitch out. Uh, let's speed it up. Let me see. Oh, here you go. See how it's going to speed out, I mean, stitch out. And simple Easter design. Keep missing with the ads. Yeah, that's that happens when you get monetized. I'm so sorry about the ads. Um, what you miss, Camille? What you missed so I can go back to it. Thank you, Marissa. Come here, let me know what you missed so I can try to go back over it right quick. But this is 
simple embroidery uh digitizing uh if you're if you're new to hatch uh and you missed some things in this live uh please i i encourage you to go watch the replay of anything that you miss so uh you know you can you know uh learn how to do something that you missed okay um basically this is this is as simple as it can get as far as digitizing i did show y'all a quick advanced way with the eyelashes which will come out looking like this every time um i hope y'all got a lot no it's okay i just watched a replay on it you're good thank you um <clears throat> That's basically it, man. I hope y'all got something out of the uh, live. Um, again, I've been monetized. Uh, what you think about that horn, Miss Unbiased? What you think about my horn and my my claps and stuff? Got y'all beat. <laughs> um, so yeah, man. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Please share. Please share and. Um, that's it. I hope y'all got something out of it. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Don't be afraid to send me some of those uh thank you donations. They're gonna put it on the live at the at the ends. It's like a little thank you donation or whatever. You know, hey, it's gonna be there, so I'm ex. <laughs> but thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for watching the live. I hope y'all got something out of the live. I hope everybody learned something. Y'all go get hatched. Don't get in brilliance. Everybody get hatched. Don't get in brilliance. I'm just playing. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. But thank y'all for coming through, man. I'm going to see y'all on the next video of the next live. Peace out, unbiased. <laughs> you know I'm going to come to your live and uh, put some hat stuff in there. I'm coming through, so I got you. <laughs> All right? Peace, man. We'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a good Thursday, and tomorrow is Friday, and then it's the weekend. So I'm out, y'all. <laughs>